Russian attacks against civilians in Ukraine, including systematic torture and killing in occupied regions, amount to war crimes and possibly crimes against humanity, said U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. In his virtual address to the Atrocity Crimes Advisory Group meeting in Warsaw on Thursday, Blinken said crimes committed by Russian forces in Ukraine intended to steal Ukraine's very future. These acts are part of the Kremlin's widespread and systematic attack against Ukrainian civilians. They constitute crimes against humanity, and they are still being committed today. The United States is committed to pursuing accountability for Russia's atrocities, including war crimes. Last year, the United States, European Union and United Kingdom created the advisory group to support Kyiv's effort to document, preserve and analyze evidence of war crimes and other atrocities committed in Ukraine for future criminal prosecutions. British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly said Russian crimes in Ukraine can be ignored. It's clear that the scale of the accountability challenge is huge and responding requires a coordinated international approach on several fronts. In addition to resources and advice for Ukrainian prosecutors, the advisory group agreed on creating the International Center for Prosecution of the Crime of Aggression in The Hague. Beth Van Schaak, a U.S. State Department ambassador at large for global criminal justice, told VOA that this is a first step to international prosecution for the Russian war of aggression. This institution will be launched at the end of this month and into next month with a series of events bringing together the, the experts who will be working side by side with their Ukrainian counterparts in order to lay the groundwork for the application of individual criminal responsibility for the crime of aggression committed in Ukraine. Russia has previously denied targeting civilians and it has not responded to allegations its forces committed atrocities or tortured Ukrainians, including to a recent request by a UN-backed Human Rights Council Commission. Since fall of 2022, the idea to create a special tribunal to investigate Russian war crimes has been gaining ground, with 37 countries now supporting the effort, including the United States. Ukraine's Prosecutor General Andriy Kostin told VOA. Everyone understands that there is a gap in the international system of accountability, that the ICC have jurisdiction, but not in our case that Security Council will never refer this case to the ICC while Russia is the member of the Security Council. That's why uh, our idea was to create a new mechanism, which is actually based on very um, different, um, I would say, uh, practice of previous tribunals starting from Nuremberg. Russia's war against Ukraine has affected countries around the world, Kostin adds. The world should understand that this is a global war. And creating a special tribunal is not only to punish the crime of aggression in, uh, against Ukraine, but also to create a mechanism to deter any future aggression. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, in a rare trip outside the country earlier this month, sought support at The Hague for a special court to try suspected Russian war crimes. Morislava Gungadze, VOA News, Warsaw, Poland.